Today, I think we know a lot about long-term risk factors, things such as high blood pressure. But more recently, we started to discover a lot more about acute risk factors, things that increase our risk in the short term, like episodes of anger. When we talk about anger in relation to heart attacks, we're talking about a significant episode of anger, anger that correlates with feeling outraged, ready to burst, clenched fists, clenched teeth. We're not just talking about being irritated or mildly annoyed. About two-thirds of the episodes were related to arguments, either arguments with family members or arguments with others. Uh, the other third of cases related to driving anger or related to workplace stress. Anger can potentially increase our heart rate. It can also raise our blood pressure and tighten the blood vessels in the body. Um, we also know that it can result in changing our blood clotting. And all of these factors have been shown to be associated with risk of a heart attack. While it would be easy to tell people don't get angry, um, the reality is people do experience anger and therefore the advice we would give to people, particularly those at higher risk of having a heart attack already, is to identify those incidences that make them angry, those triggers of anger, and try to avoid those triggers. And if they can't avoid them, to look at strategies to reduce their anger during that time. When you're under emotional stress, your heart is also under physical stress. So keep calm and be kind to your heart.